Hey everyone, this lesson is on vancomycin and in this lesson we're going to talk about what are some of the bacterial targets for vancomycin, how does it work, and what are some of the side effects of vancomycin. So to begin, what is vancomycin? Vancomycin is a glycopeptide antibiotic. Here is an, a picture of vancomycin. As you can see, it's a quite a large and complex molecule. Vancomycin has a reduced intestinal absorption because of its hydrophilic nature and as such we typically give it in IV form. And vancomycin is renally excreted and this will become important when we talk about some of the adverse reactions to vancomycin. So what are some of those bacterial targets of vancomycin? Vancomycin only targets gram-positive bacteria. So some of those bacteria include Staphylococcus and one of the main bacteria that vancomycin is used for is MRSA or methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Some of the other bacteria that it can also target are Streptococcus, Pneumococcus, and Enterococcus. It can also target Listeria, it can also target Carini bacterium and Bacillus, and it can also be used to treat Clostridium difficile. And for it to be used for Clostridium difficile, we actually use it as PO administration. And I told you before that we typically use it as IV because it has reduced intestinal absorption. But that's okay when we want to target Clostridium difficile because Clostridium difficile is in the GI tract. So we can actually give it PO. It won't be absorbed systemically. So it stays isolated in the GI system, can target Clostridium difficile fine. So what I want you to remember from this slide is that the two main targets for vancomycin, when we use vancomycin, we are really wanting to target MRSA and we also want to target Clostridium difficile. The other ones are also covered, but those aren't really the priorities when we use vancomycin. And again, I just want to clarify that vancomycin has no activity against gram-negative bacteria. So what is the mechanism of action of vancomycin? Vancomycin is bactericidal because it inhibits cell wall synthesis. So how does it do that? It actually binds to d ala d ala and that's what I want you to remember. The mechanism of action of vancomycin is through its binding to d ala d ala When it binds to d ala d ala it prevents a transpeptidase from acting on NAM and NAG. NAM and NAG are the building blocks for peptidoglycan cell wall synthesis. So essentially vancomycin prevents cross-linking of the peptidoglycan cell wall. But because vancomycin binds to d ala d ala certain bacteria can form a resistance by altering this binding site. So they can alter d ala d ala to d ala d lac. We can see this in certain cases such as VRE or vancomycin resistant enterococcus. So what happens is that in a normal susceptible bacteria, so in a bacteria that has the binding site d ala d ala vancomycin can bind to d ala d ala forming five hydrogen bonds. But when a bacteria becomes resistant to vancomycin, it alters that site d ala d ala to d ala d lac. And when it does this, it, the vancomycin can only form four hydrogen bonds. So the bonding or the binding to the binding site is altered, it is um, less effective. This is how bacteria can form resistance to vancomycin. So vancomycin use does not come without its risks and one of those adverse reactions to vancomycin is Redman syndrome as you can see in this image. Redman syndrome is also known as erythroderma and essentially what happens is skin becomes very red and it can occur more frequently when vancomycin is given too quickly. The treatment for Redman syndrome is antihistamines. Other adverse reactions to vancomycin include nephrotoxicity. So because vancomycin is renally excreted, it can cause some nephrotoxicity. And there's also some autotoxicity as well. I hope you found this lesson helpful. That was a lesson on vancomycin. If you did find this lesson helpful, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Also check out my other antibiotic lessons in my infectious disease playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.